yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got? A plan. Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Sing us a song. He's all over the place. Oh, God damn it. Oh, 
Get the horses! Ah, uh, this is all right. Is I one need. of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Oh, can you do another old fella a favor, get back on the damn wagon? Come on, let's go. To Valentine! <laughs> 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 You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> 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 or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Not a fella in Valentine. Got balls to take. Go it. left here, down the main street. Chairs always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven this forbid you put your time. head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What the heck do you want? All right. Here we are, just like I said. A cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine's So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm? Then, rats with the plague. 
Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. today and the cattle broken through the damn thing.
Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I'll... Get your hands off mm, me, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Same old shit, different day. Well, what can you do? Can I help you, sir? I'm trying to help people. Oh, well. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Ugh. Get him, man. Get some goddamn feet. Get off of me! I'm getting what I paid for. Get off! Get off! You like that, huh? Stop it! Hey! Hey! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. Think you, Think you two could stand me? Hey! 
Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but... This is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope, uh, everything's okay up there? After you. Go on, lead the way. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! Somebody be generous. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Why me? Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. This ain't happening. Go away. Not like this. Mr. Please. I'm sorry. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All right. Come on.
You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. I want to get a drink. I'm parched. Let's give a fellow a nickel. <coughs> hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. 
Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Hey, that ain't nice. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Things good with you? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, 
Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. In need of a good story? Catch you some other time. Extra, extra, right here. Hey, fellas. Hi. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Uh-huh. Anyway. Folks, please don't mind me. Bye. Hmm, do come in. All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Okay, now let me see. Yeah, never mind. Worth a shot. Thanks for your assistance. Careful there. Hello? Hey, mister. Hi. Partner? How's things? I can't complain, for once. Now give me all your money. Hey, now! What? I've had it with you. Go now. I'm just gonna leave, okay? Crazy. Oh, shit. Are you cocksucker? On your way, Help. people. This is a law matter now. Shit! Oh, please, God, no! Not much to go on here. Fine tooth combs, boys. 
We got our quarry, gentlemen. Hands up ready, man. No twitchy fingers. Shit! Spread out! Sure thing. Mountain <laughs> hair! Nothing to see. Jumping Somebody the hell! Like a pup. There! You see them? There's a feller. Let's He's inside, man. Out. Get inside and he drag in his there. ass Push out! Forward. Choices. Okay, Either raise them or die where you stand. Take him in, Don't need to make a scene, just come on quietly. Drop yeah. Yeah. Didn't want to be looking over your shoulder anymore, huh? How you been keeping? Hey, easy now. Apologies. You're a real idiot. Mister? That all? It's all good. Calm down. Giddy up there. You the local hard man, huh? Who do you think you're talking to? All right, simmer down. Howdy, Mr. Friend. Sheriff. Don't work too hard. Morning. Nah. Thank you Thank for keeping the peace. Mm -hmm. We need more like you. So long. Good morning, sir. Okay there? How you doing? I've been better. Well, hope your luck improves. Until we meet again. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. I only keep select items on the shelves. Gum and candies behind the shelf, and the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. That fella. Whoa! What the hell's the gun for? Fine. A as long as you stay calm, we're good. Sure, what you got? Come on, you going to just linger here? I got better things to do than wait on you. Okay, let's see what I want. Come on, you going to just linger here?
I got better things to do than wait on you. Hey, put that damn gun down! I'm not gonna rob you, my friend. All right, Blanche, next time. <coughs> Well, hello again. How does it? Hey, y'all. Morning, partner. Good morning. Hello, Everything sir. okay? Mm-hmm. All right, well, good luck to you. See you later. Good to see you again, pardon. So, what are you aiming for today? No, no. This ain't the way you want to go, is it? Shot the damn dirt and ran. I'm only messing. I wouldn't rob you. Well, oh, hope country. you've gotten it out of your system, damn gutter trash. Ah, oh, heck. Come on, please! Please, somebody, be welcome, generous! Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Show you care! Come on, please, somebody! No, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. Morning, sir. Give more! Good morning to you. Please! Just prove we're here for each other. You dumb son of a bitch. Excuse me, partner. Good morning. You know what? I'm feeling good today. That's good. Good morning, sir. Jesus. Enjoy the morning, mister. Good morning to you. I can't seem to catch a break today. Keep at it. Things will turn around. Yeah, well, it can always be worse, huh? Until later, then. Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That gun's gonna get you nowhere good. Why are you doing this to me? 